guys, we're going to do a week in my life of my mornings. A week in my life of morning routines. Each morning is a little bit different. Maybe I am a little bit more lazy or maybe I'm going to work out or I don't know. Trying different types of mornings or really it's just instead of a week in my life vlog, it's a week in my life vlog but just of my mornings. I'm trying something different. I'm just in a mood. So, it's Tuesday morning. I slept pretty good. I woke up at like 6.30 wide awake. I had like a weird dream. So that's why my book is right next to me. I grabbed it and like tried to read and I definitely got sleepy again. So I fell asleep for like an hour and then my hatch alarm went off. I love my hatch. It's just got like a really relaxing sound. Ugh, I really don't want to get up. But I have Pilates soon. So, I need to get up. Okay, I turned on the lights because I really needed to to wake up. My heat is not working in my apartment today, or the whole building apparently. Let's check the thermostat, but it still feels pretty chilly. I always grab a robe when I wake up. Oh, 66, yeah. Gonna put on this Skims robe. My friend Katie got it for me for Secret Santa, and it's perfect. Also gonna plug in my heat dish. Get that pumping. Time for some coffee. I drink decaf pretty much every morning and then as the day goes on, if I find myself still tired, then I know that I'm actually tired and I need caffeine, but caffeine can make me super anxious. So I drink decaf. I keep caffeinated coffee here for friends, for if I need it. Um, but I use this No Fun Joe decaf. It's organic coffee and it's made using the Swiss water method. So it's not like using chemicals or anything to make it decaffeinated, which I know people are like, decaf's bad for you, but not this kind. Guys, it's a sign. It's a sign. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my class is canceled. Well, I'm saddened to hear that I can't go to Pilates this morning because I was really excited to be like on a workout grind. I am working out tomorrow and I'm working out Thursday and Friday, so I'm fine. But I'm just so not mad about it. Like I'm just like extra tired and a nice cozy morning sounds nice. I could like get back in bed, I didn't make my bed yet, but there's something to be said about a couch nap and I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna start Ginny and Georgia season two because I haven't started it yet. And if I like kind of doze off on the couch, I'm just not gonna be mad, you know? Like it's a nice little nappy poo. I love a couch nap, so huge for the program and I also have time and then I also can like leisurely do my doing well daily this morning without being in a rush and just plan my day. I need to vacuum really bad. Um, so my morning voice is out in full effect. The heat dish is heat dishing. I'm gonna move it towards the couch. Ah, oh, that feels lovely. Hopefully they're fixing the heat today. They already know about it. I mean, it's not just my unit. Like, other people don't have heat either. But yeah, this is my typical morning setup. My decaf coffee and my Gals in the Go mug. That is everything to me. I love the size of this mug and everything. Glossier U Candle. My Doing Well Daily planner that I designed with Doing Well Daily. It's on sale now. There's a single day on each page. And I love creating my mornings, my days, I guess, with it. This is my favorite corner of my couch, however. So, I shall move over here and sit and sip my coffee, play a little music. This was going to be my morning where I like get up and work out, but this is kind of more of my lazy, not lazy, just more leisurely morning. Um, hope you guys like this. I think this is fun. I'm gonna, usually I'll do my doing well daily first, but I kind of just want to chill. So I'm going to put on um, Ginny and Georgia first. I'll check in with you guys in a little. Okay, we're going to make some bacon in the oven this morning. I basically just preheat the oven to 400 degrees, put aluminum um, 
foil on my little caraway pan here. And once it's preheated, I put it in the oven for like 18, 19 minutes. And my bacon's done. And it doesn't like, I love the smell of bacon. And you can definitely like smell it through the oven a little bit. But it doesn't like make your whole kitchen smell like bacon. And you don't have a ton of dirty pans. You don't get like pops of grease on your arm. I love it. It's a newer thing for me when I'm in the mood for bacon, but it hits different and uh, I don't know, it's fun, something fun to do. All right, we're gonna put this in now. I'm literally getting so hungry and so excited for bacon. All right, timer is set. I'm gonna have a banana while I wait. So while I've been waiting for the bacon to cook, I'm filling out my doing well daily planner. This side is, well, I haven't filled it out yet, is um, motivational. So I'm about to go in and write my affirmations for the day, my goals, um, trace the quote, wellness, like what am I doing like self-care wise, workout wise. I guess I'll go for a walk or something today since I didn't go to Pilates. I'm trying to go for a walk every day of 2023. Nourishment, I'm gonna write down my meals for the day and then how much water I'm drinking. And then on this side, I started filling it out. So I'll show you guys a blank one here. I've got my hourly, jot it down. So right now I'm writing down in my jot it down. Like I'm having a meeting with Brooke later today. So all the things we want to talk about and then all of my to do's. So that is what I'm doing right now. I just have some Netflix on. I had to switch from Ginny and Georgia. It's amazing, but it's kind of heavy sometimes and makes me sad. So I had to switch it up. All right. Bacon is done. I'm just putting a paper towel to soak it all up, but it's so easy to clean too. I just literally removed the aluminum foil. I'm like having my breakfast in steps this morning. I don't really know why, because I just like needed a piece of bacon, so I already ate two slices, but I'm gonna cut up this avocado now. It's like the best taste ever. Add some salt and pepper. Avocado with bacon is like such a lovely taste. It's like the soft with the crunch. I usually have eggs too, but I'm kind of not in the mood. Mmm. Such a good bite. Now for the next step of breakfast. I don't know what's going on with me. I just washed my butter dish because it was pretty much done. I love having my, I like getting butter sticks and using it at room temperature. It's way easier to like spread on a piece of butter or really for whatever you might need it for. My mom started doing it in the last year so when I would go home and it was just such a lovely experience. I got some fresh sourdough bread from the farmer's market the other day and it doesn't last super long so I'd like to have a slice now. Well actually what I did is I cut half of the loaf and put it in the freezer but for now this is like the fresh stuff and it tastes so unreal. I love sourdough bread. So I'm just gonna put this little guy in the toaster. This is my toaster, all of my fun little kitchen accoutrements here. Um, everyone asks me like, is it worth it? I love it, it's so fun to click like, bagel or bread, and if it's frozen or fresh, and how toasted I want it. However, I don't think it's like, you know, I don't think you need to splurge on this. I'm having fun with it, but I'm not like, you need this, it just, does exactly what a normal toaster does. Sometimes a normal toaster does better, honestly, so. While I'm waiting for that to toast, I think it's time to open up my blinds here and make my bed. Just kind of get ready for the day. It's now been about 45 minutes since like my Pilates class would have started, so I'm like, okay, now I start the day. I'm thinking once I have this piece of toast, I might just get some movement in now and go for a walk. I don't really know. I'm kind of like weirdly now in a mood to work out. I could see if there's any Equinox classes soon. I have a meeting at one o'clock, so I just need to get everything done before then. I also would like to just go through my emails and kind of get them out for the day so I can get some responses. And yeah, this is Frenchie Unwind and Rest Lavender Cloud. Oh, my toaster's done. It's Ashley Tisdale's brand, it's so lovely. I also need to put all these clothes away and I feel like I should just do it this morning. Yay, my toast is done. Yum! Nothing makes me happier than bread and butter. Like, 
I did like the TikTok trend where I talk about my death row meal and everyone was like, this is all such simple bland food. But I think I just love that. Like I would love a dinner roll with butter or like Italian French bread with butter or sourdough with butter. It's my favorite. It is now time to take my supplements. I take them every morning after I eat breakfast. Today is Tuesday. A lot of people ask what supplements I take. It's important to talk to your doctor or, you know, a health expert, if you will, of like what you should take. But I take magnesium, a symbiotic, um, omega-3, vitamin D, a woman's multi, an elderberry. Oh, and then I take ashwagandha and 5-HTP. Those are like for anxiety and stress. All supplements though, no medicine here. doing a body shower to be good to kind of wake me up. Okay, we are fresh out of the shower. I'm gonna show you guys the products I'm gonna use this morning. I wash my face. Every time I go to the face gym, it's like a place where they like do lymphatic massage, they work out your face. I love the products they use on me. Um, and so I have the face gym electrolyte energizing and brightening gel cleanser. I don't know what it is. It feels good on my skin, it's light, it smells good. I'm a big into scents. Um, which I know is not the most important thing in skincare, honestly, but it's a plus. Um, and then I've been using, I like to use some sort of vitamin C. I love the pharmacy vitamin C, the Sunday Riley vitamin C. Like, I really just switch off. Um, but this is the Face Gem Liftwear Lift and Brighten Vitamin C and Biofermant Gel Cream. I love the bottle. This is like, this makes me think I'm at Face Gem. It smells so good. It's so easy to apply on the skin. I don't know, I've just been really enjoying it. And then I'll put on top, eventually I'll put on a moisturizer, but I just kind of like to let it sit. And then I've been using the Sunday Riley Auto Correct Eye Cream. I'm trying to be better about using eye cream. Just to kind of brighten my under eyes, today is a no makeup day. I decided before my meeting at one, I'm gonna go for a walk to Think Coffee. I love Cafe Con Leche, and Think Coffee does a great Cafe Con Leche. Um, they have decaf coffee, which is lovely. So I'm gonna go for a walk to Think Coffee. I recently discovered it and love it. Um, and that'll be kind of my, my little walk to kind of kickstart the day, put on my headphones. I'm just gonna do my brows as well while we're here. Um, like I won't put on makeup, but I just like to have my brows done. So yeah, I'm gonna go get that, put on some headphones, listen to some music, and then get ready for my first meeting with um, someone that I'm gonna potentially work with to like help me manage my business. Um, just kind of see what he's all about, honestly. Just kind of like a discovery call, really. And then, um, such a grown up thing to say. And then Brooke's coming here and we have like a ton of things to do. So we were like, let's just do an in-person meeting. We haven't seen each other since last week. So we were like, let's do it in person. She's coming here and we're just gonna get a ton of stuff done for the live show because we're doing four live shows next month. Um, two in Atlanta, February 8th and 9th. I think there might be some tickets left for February 9th show. And then Tampa, which I know there's tickets still available, um, so I'll have a link down below to those tickets. And then, um, or Tampa's the last one, I'm sorry, Orlando, 
February 15th, which is still available, links below, and then Tampa, February 16th. So, we're so excited, we have lots of fun plans for that. I'm gonna get dressed. Okay, here's my little outfit of the day for my meetings and just for my walk right now. I wore this exact outfit in another vlog and I was like, this is nice. Black tank, I just folded it and put it back in my drawer, but putting it back on, it's from Aritzia. And then this, I believe is from Altered State. It's just like a black quarter zip. I love this like scuba material. And then it matches perfectly with these pants that are from Spanx. They're the Air Essentials pants. I don't know where my shirt went for it, so I was like, this goes perfectly. Um, and then I'm just gonna throw over my black puffer jacket. Let's go get a cafe con leche. Thank you. That was so lovely. It's really not too cold out. Um, got my cafe con leche. It tastes better without the top on. I just put the top on for my walk. Just look how foamy that is. I literally just got whole milk. Mm. Oh my gosh, that foam. It's different. Okay, I am setting up my workplace for the day. I'm excited for my first meeting. I feel like I'm gonna feel really motivated after. And then I'm excited for Brooke to come. The rest of the day will begin. That was day one of my morning routine. Kind of a little bit of everything. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Mm. Good morning. All right. Time to get up. Oh my gosh, my diffuser is still going from last night. Craving water. Ah, that tasted good. My back kind of hurts. I don't know if I slept on it funny or something, but I have this heat pack. I'm gonna heat it up and sit with it while I drink my coffee this morning. Speaking of coffee, it's time. Put some eye patches in the fridge so that it's nice and cool. I just found these on Amazon. They're from the brand Grace and Stella. I just looked up hydrogel eye patch. So let's see how these are. Okay, update. These feel so good on my skin. Wow. Heat pack is done. So is my coffee. To the couch we go. Yay. Oh, I have to light my candle, of course. So it's Wednesday, which means a new episode of Gals on the Go podcast goes live. Our Gals on the Go Instagram is so cute, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to post the like episode graphic now, just to kind of promote it on Instagram. This week's episode is called Hot Girls Don't Gatekeep, and we just like shared some of our favorite hacks, etc., um, so I'm posting the story and the Instagram post on Gals on the Go for it. I also upload my own video on Wednesday, so I'm going to make the thumbnail and everything for that. Coffee is done. Podcast is promoted. I need to run the dishwasher because actually Delaney's coming over tonight and we are cooking together. That was one of our favorite things to do together. Um, when we were roommates in college and now she lives in New York and so I just know There's gonna be a lot of dishes to be done tonight because We are making chicken piccata. It's her mom's recipe and it's so fire I'm craving it the last time I had it is literally when Delaney and I live together this morning in 30 minutes I'm gonna head on my walk to the gym every Wednesday I train with my trainer Jane, she's the best. She, I'm trying to do like one time a week strength training and then other than that, either like Pilates or cardio or like another workout class. Um, so that's what I'm doing these days. I'm usually, I'm like not super hungry so before I work out I'll just have a piece of toast and sometimes a banana too actually a pretty thin piece. Maybe I'll cut another thin piece. I'm just not, I like can't not eat before I work out. I 
just don't know how people do it. I know everyone's different. Like I usually wake up like with an appetite or at least like after I have coffee. Like I don't wake up hungry right away, but like after I've had coffee and stuff, I'm like, ooh, I, I, could, I could crunch on something. And this bread is fire flames. While the bread's in the toaster. This is like, I feel like I always do this. When the bread's in the toaster, I come in here, I open my blinds and I make my bed. I, I don't know why. having spray tans oh my gosh we gotta brush the teeth we gotta put on deodorant like i just did this necklace my mom got me for christmas says gotg i just took off the eye patches i use these cold pressed peel pads from naturally serious every morning they seriously just like smell so good they wake me up they feel so refreshing on my skin <laughs> I always put a little perfume on when I go to the gym, you know, maybe it'll mask the sweat smell. Glossier U perfume, this stuff is a great everyday perfume. I love how I can hold it <laughs> like that. It smells so good. Apparently it adjusts to every single person, so it smells a little different on everybody. Face gym, vitamin C stuff smells so good. Little lymphatic drainage for the morning. <laughs> And then over top of that, I'm gonna use the Sunday Riley CEO Afterglow Bright Yellow. Some added bonus on here. A little lip balm, Laneige Lip Glowy Lip Glowy Lip Balm. My hands are so slippery I can't squeeze it. I have no idea what time it is. Hopefully I'm not running late right now. Gotta fill up the water bottle for the gym. Okay, so I'm seeing that it's 51 degrees outside. So it's actually not super cold. Sometimes I think it's like about to be freezing outside without looking at the weather. And I dress up like I'm literally going to the North Pole. And people look at me funny and I'm like, wow, I am really warm, but I might get hot soon. <laughs> These are the shoes I wear to do strength training because they're super flat footed, which I guess I've been told is really important for when you're doing weight training, which definitely makes sense. These are from APL. I have to wash them a lot because they get super dirty. Um, tote bag, because I don't like to hold my water bottle. My portable hand warmers, I will link them below. They're from Amazon, they're amazing, just in case I need them, you know? You could be super warm, but your hands are not. Headphones for the walk. Hand sanitizer. Laneige lip balm. Keys and wallet. And then my water bottle. I'm gonna put on one more jacket by the door, of course. On my phone, that's important. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a brown moment. I have this brown North Face puffer and it's not super thick and it doesn't have a hood, but the jacket has a hood, so I hate when you have double hoods. It's hard to handle there. So, there we go. Get all zipped up, hopefully I'll be warm enough. I mean, 51's 51. That's 10 degrees from 60. I'm excited for my workout today. I love, like, Jay and I love talking to her and catching up for the week. Always am in a good mood after I work out. All right. I feel like I'm definitely running late now, but, you know, got to do it for the vlog. See you guys there.
Alright, I'm gonna shower and get started with my day. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh man, I'm tired. My hatch alarm went off and I already turned it off. Oh, that is... I am sleepy. Good morning. I can just feel that it's raining outside. Ah, uh, yes. Good, good, I want that, yeah. It's 7.47. Whew, sleepy. I booked an 8.30 Pilates class today. I typically like to do the 9.30, but I was supposed to have a call today at 11, and, um, then something after that, and I was like, well, let me just get this all done now, but now that's not happening, but that's okay. 8.30 Pilates. This is like a different little morning. And then we're gonna go straight to the dry bar. I haven't been in the dry bar this year, <laughs> in 2023, um, because I actually got a spray tan last night. I don't know if you guys can tell, because today, Brooke and I are going on our friend Shannon Ford's podcast, probably a podcast, and Shannon's podcast is one amazing and I love it but also she posts like she has the best video quality like ever she flies in a producer for it like it's such good quality it's so crisp and I was like I need to look good and I know Brooke Brooke's also getting a blowout today and then we have like blowouts for the weekend because it's Thursday um I actually wasn't gonna get a spray tan but then I found out Brooke and Shannon were getting spray tans for this and I was like well I I'm going to too and I'm not mad because I feel like all week I've been like, oh, like I wish I had a spray tan. So that's that. I'm not really hungry, but like I said, I like to eat something before I work out. What do you guys eat before you work out? Please comment down below. I usually just go for some sourdough toast, as you guys know. Pretty much done with this loaf here. Anyways, I'm gonna make some toast and then we'll pick out a workout outfit. The toast is browning. Let's go. Pick out a workout outfit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's raining out, so I don't want to wear any light colors because the raindrops show. I'm just feeling my good old classic black Lululemon Align leggings with my, I think it's called the Nulu Y bra. It's good for like Pilates or lower impact things. Um, it's not super supportive for like cardio, but I love it. It's my favorite. I love wearing black workout sets. They're like so flattering too. Then I've got my Pilates socks. They help kind of stick to the reformer. A lot of people go barefoot or they wear these. And I started just going barefoot and then after I started going a lot, I was like, wait, these are way more helpful. And before I forget, I'm gonna bring my umbrella. My toast got a little burnt that time. Listening to Jack Johnson. Look at these pretty flowers I got yesterday in this vase. I think this vase came from like when someone sent me flowers and I love it. It's so mellow in here. For I had some blueberries in my fridge and I've got this strainer thing. So I'm gonna rinse them and have a couple. I'm actually hungry now and after I ate the toast I still want a little bit more food. Couple blueberries, yum yum. All right, here is the set. I just love it so much. I'm gonna wear this Lululemon like pullover situation. My friends Delaney and Alex actually got it for my birthday and I love it. It's nice and light, but it's also kind of like, I don't want, I wouldn't call it waterproof, but I just feel like it's good for a rainy day. And it's comfy, and then I'm gonna wear a jacket over top, obviously. Let's figure out what shoes I'm wearing today. Oh, this is, I think, what I'm gonna wear on Shannon's. Oof, good job. I think I'm gonna wear this on Shannon's podcast today, because she always, oh my gosh, Danielle. You're gonna go there. But she always wears like fun, bright, extra colors, just all the things. So I sent it to Shannon, she was like, that's perfect. So I just have that laid out. Um. Shoes. I guess I'll wear sneakers. I mean, you don't wear shoes during the thing. I'll wear these. These are like comfy to walk in and stuff. Except it's raining to. Yeah, we'll wear these. These are the Adidas, I think, Falcon sneakers, I'm pretty sure. 
and they like go perfectly with this sweatshirt <laughs> all right i'm about to have to go but my skin was just craving a quick ice roll oh it feels so good especially when i'm extra tired this is the skinny confidential ice roller i have this one and then i also have one from amazon the one from Amazon stays colder longer, I will say. But this one, I like because you can like really like press on your skin and like actually lymphatic drain, if you will. Like the this part, the metal part doesn't pop off. But the time that it is cold, it's really cold because it's that metal and it feels so good. It just kind of doesn't last as long. It must be the metal, but it's a great design and like obviously I love it. Just letting you guys know for preference purposes. This one's good because it has a hood. I just brought the umbrella because when I'm coming back from the dry bar, you know, I don't know if just the hood will do depending on how hard it's raining. Okay, I haven't done Pilates since last week because they canceled on me on Tuesday, so wish me luck. See you guys after. to shower which is never fun with the blowout but I love my blowout um it looks really really good I hopefully I walked back in the rain I had my hood and my umbrella ideally I'm keeping this hair like for the weekend this is my blowout for the weekend so we shall see I'm so excited to like put on makeup and do all the glam things I really haven't done that in a couple days so I'm excited it feels like a Friday and it's just very much a Thursday, but I actually, fun fact, Thursdays are my favorite day of the week. All right, I am ready for some more food. I'm thinking, I've been really, as you guys know, into making bacon in the oven and I got some turkey bacon this time. So I'll do that with some eggs. I don't think any of my avocados are ready just yet. I'm doing the banana trick. I went and got more avocados yesterday. But yeah, they're all still pretty hard, so that's okay. All right, I'm just gonna do four slices. It says for turkey bacon, 10 minutes, 400 degrees, and then after 10 minutes, flip it over, flip each one over for five minutes. So it's hard to get turkey bacon super, oh, I forgot I always keep a pan in there. It's hard to keep turkey bacon super crispy, or to even get it crispy, but we're gonna see. I've never done turkey bacon in the oven. Turn on my candles for a nice little ambiance for when I shower, which is right now I'm gonna shower while the bacon's going. Need to organize my products again. <laughs> Just showered and my hair stayed nice and flippy. For those asking, um, when I go to the dry bar, I ask for the straight up with rounded out ends. That's what I've been liking with my hair. It's super like retro looking but I love it and it looks really good on camera and that's the goal for today and it just wears really well like tomorrow it won't be like as flippy but it's still good um I'm gonna keep with my new year's resolution of putting lotion on my body after I shower I've been using this one the L'Occitane Shea Body Butter it smells really good and it applies really nicely and blends my skin so I'm gonna do that and then my timer will be going off soon to flip the bacon Okay, since bacon's about to be done, we're gonna make some eggs. 
I love the one good thing about getting up earlier and like getting my workout done earlier. I just like like it's not like it's still the morning. It's still a.m. It's not p.m. yet. You know, like there's just I'm very very grateful. How yummy does this look? I have my blueberries, scrambled eggs, and then I put the everything but the bagel seasoning on my turkey bacon because I saw Sydney Adams do it. And if she does it, I will do it. <laughs> that breakfast really just hit the spot, I gotta say. I'm gonna make some chlorophyll water now. Um, it has lots of benefits. Um, I, f I just want my skin to be glowier, I feel like. <laughs> Who doesn't want their skin to be glowier, right? Um, and it actually tastes really good when I add lemon juice to it. Um, some say to add mint leaves as well because there is like a minty taste in chlorophyll water I've noticed. This is the chlorophyll I use. I got it at Air One when I was in LA. I was like, this has got to be a good chlorophyll. So I put the water in first. I also am like crazy. I saved this for my one. I was like, this was so expensive to drink my green juice out of. I will keep it and use again for something like this. It's always fun. Okay, let's see how my balance is here. Focus. Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that much because I wanted to add a little sparkling water too. That's fine. Okay, we've moved over here. It says 15 drops in a cup of water one to three times per day. That's what it says here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I was reading up on chlorophyll again just because I was like, I don't know. I always like learning more about it. It says chlorophyll water can cure hangovers, so you best believe I'll be trying that next time. It reduces inflammation, it's good for your skin to prevent breakouts. I mean, so I tried it in another vlog, just water and chlorophyll, and it was okay. But it was like, I don't think I'd want to drink this all the time, but when I added a little lemon juice, this is Italian Volcano, just pure lemon juice, it really hit different and it tasted so good because I love the taste of like lemon and mint and there's just like a minty taste in this chlorophyll and then if you want to add a little sparkling water a little San Pellegrino I don't even know if that'll do anything so it's kind of a big bottle but mm, so good and so refreshing okay we're in the hot seat the makeup seat. It is happening. Putting in the makeup clips. I'm giving myself plenty of time and my hair is already done, which is amazing. Caudalie beauty spray. Oh, let me just spray it, you guys. I need to make sure to go more matte rather than glowy, because even though I'm about to use some glow oil, because on camera I'm noticing it just looks bit better if you like put a lot of powder products on because you're still gonna look nice and oily and glowy in, in good ways. It just like comes through where it needs to rather than like in person, I feel like glowy makeup looks good, but then on camera, especially those like big lights, I'm just, I'm starting to learn. For skin prep, I learned a lot about skin prep from Kelly and Kat, my makeup artist friends. Um, like you don't even need to use like makeup primer. It's just more so important to like have your skin moisturized and ready for product. I'm just rubbing it in my face. I really want to try that TikTok trend where you like put water in your self tanner in like an old bottle and like brush it on your face. I don't know, I'm intrigued. And then I also been using eye cream. This is the First Aid Beauty Brightening Eye Cream. It literally has like, it's very brightening. Like as soon as I put it under my eyes, as you guys can see. As you can see here, I feel like an anchor woman. I love it. All right, that was skin prep. I'm gonna get on with makeup, but when we get to the baking part, we're gonna do this together because I'm nervous. I just put on my under eye concealer. Got the took me like five minutes to get this open. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I really don't. Today's probably not the day to like you know be playing around, but we're just gonna do it. Don't you just like press it in? <laughs> this is so messy. I need to go watch more TikToks. I literally w used to do this in high school. I would bake. These powder puffs are good though. It helps like kind of press it in. Um, I also always see people do this. <laughs> 
I don't know if I'm supposed to put contour on and then do it, but you guys will tell me in the comments. I have no doubt. <laughs> you guys will tell me what I'm doing wrong. Should I do a little on my nose? The bridge of my nose. Cool. Okay. Um, this is so messy. How does one... It's probably because this is, like, the problem. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Um, because, like, the lid's so small. I don't know. Now I'm gonna have to do cleanup. But, alright. So I guess I just continue on with my steps. I don't really know, right? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Makeup is done. I think it's pretty good. I need to figure out the baking situation. Like, I think it definitely helped brighten my under eyes once I wiped it away. But I feel like I need to do it and then go in with the contour and stuff. Not do it at the same time because I got, like, really confused. Um, but I like it. I like my eyes. I used this Buxom Plump Shot in the color Exposed. Okay, here is the fit, guys. I feel so cute. I haven't, like, dressed up in a minute. So, yeah, dress is Revolve. I'll link it below if it's still available. Earrings are the Bottega dupes from Anthropology. Boots are Vince Camuto. I'm loving them right now. And I'm packing a change of clothes because we might frolic around the city after and, like, get lunch or something. I don't really know. So I'm going to pack my bag, pack, like, a ginger shot. I was like, take a ginger shot before I record. I'm weird. Um, we're going to have so much fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Good morning, world. Ah, my beautiful living room. Gonna do some eye patches. I'm like not in the mood for coffee yet. I might wait till after my workout. These are the Grace and Stella ones. They feel so good because they're cold. Gonna fill out my doing daily for the day. The best things in life aren't things. <laughs> True. I love going on Spotify and literally looking up whatever I'm doing and seeing if they have a playlist for it and I've never been let down. Like just now I put in planning. There's planning my life out and coffee and planning. Ooh, I like these songs. Let's do this. Now I'm gonna plan. Ooh, there goes my phone. On Fridays on the Gals on the Go podcast Instagram we do Friday polls based off of things we talked about in this week's episode, so I am posting that now. Okay guys, I have the last little bit of my sourdough bread. It's really just come a long way this whole week. Um, however, it's kind of hard now. So the trick I learned this summer is to sprinkle a little water on it and put it in the microwave, I think, for like 10 seconds and it softens it up. Maybe 20, but I'm gonna do 10 first. Guys, now the bread is nice and soft, perfect. Last little bit, because we're going to Pilates this morning. I don't know why I don't like always have a full breakfast before I work out, but I need like something. I think after, I cannot cut this bread right now. I think after Pilates, I'm gonna go to Pliables. It's Friday, you know, gonna treat myself a little bit and get like a pitaya bowl or something. Those are good. Okay, hold on. This coffee and planning playlist is slapping and I'm eating peanut butter on my toast instead today. It's so good. I just took out the other half of that loaf that I got at the market last weekend. I had it in the freezer. I don't really know what to do. Do I just like leave it out? We're gonna see if the freezing method works. I was telling Brooke about it and she was like, honestly, it just never tastes as fresh, whatever. So we're gonna see. My gosh, I didn't make my bed yet. I am going to pick out my workout outfit. I don't even know what the temperature is outside. That doesn't matter about my workout outfit though. Hmm, what color? We'll do this gray set from Story. It has like this mesh detailing on the top. That works. All right, what's the damage? What's the weather? Why isn't my phone telling me? Oof, okay, it's sunny at least. We'll take that 41, so I'll probably wear the workout set with a jacket, like a sweatshirt and the jacket over top, what I normally do. Here is the set on. It's really cute. Wow, I am just so happy I got that spray tan. It really helps the confidence. <laughs> Let's get some natural light going in here. Hello, New York! The sweatshirt works, the bar sweatshirt. Cute! Bringing my pink Pilates socks today, because, you know, I've got the pink sweatshirt. 
popping in my tote bag. If you live in New York City or just like really anywhere, not just New York, but ever since I moved to New York, I started using tote bags all the time. I think because I don't have a car that I can like put stuff in, you know? Like when you go out for the day in New York, a lot of times you're just, you're out. You've got every, you need to have everything with you. So I think that's why I started using tote bags. Um, but I mean, now when I go home, I use tote bags too, but I don't know, I don't make sense, but I love me a tote bag. I haven't worn my Uggs in a minute. Which ones? These guys are, I'll link them below, they're from Amazon. They, I kind of wish they had more ankle support though. I'm sure the real Uggs are like that too. Um, I kind of like trip in them sometimes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear these just because I'm walking around a lot. I just have to be like super cautious when I'm walking with those. I haven't like tripped in them yet just when I'm at home because when I'm out walking in them, I'm super cautious. But you know, sometimes I just want to walk freely, if that makes sense. back got my think coffee cafe con leche I'm obsessed decaf I'm gonna put on this loops face mask I haven't used them in so long and I just love them so much I get them on revolve this is the weekly reset face mask and then I also bought the double take and then I went to pliables guys I found this like random visa gift card so this was all free for me this morning which made it fun I got the green bowl with the Pura Vita toppings, which is blueberries and strawberries and granola with honey. The honey just really makes it. I'm so excited we have Appliables and Greenwich Fiddles now, which is very exciting. Also very excited because it's Friday, which means my friends Katie, Adam, and Colby's podcast just released Match Made in Manhattan. It's like my favorite. All right, that is a wrap for the week in my life of morning routines. Let me know if you guys want me to do this again in the future or week in my life of night routines. I'm still gonna be doing week in my life vlogs just every now and then to switch it up. I love you guys. Subscribe if you guys are new here. The gals are going on tour or Atlanta's already sold out, but Tampa and Orlando, we still have tickets. I will link them down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.